What's up guys, Axis here with another Cinema 4D tutorial and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do COGS in Cinema 4D, obviously, with Cinema 4D tutorial like in my Lucky 7 recruitment uh, entry so as you can see I'll, uh, two people have wanted to see this tutorial, well three and so I'm just going to make this tutorial because um, I thought it would help you guys out quite a bit because it's a really nice it's a really nice model kind of effect and um you know you can use it in backgrounds manipulations um you know intros like I did so um basically just open up your lightroom in cinema 4D and grab a cog wheel from the draw freehand spline thing with jiggy <laughs> um so as you can see I've got my cog wheel here and now I'm gonna just turn up the middle radius to make it kind of top a bit flatter and yeah just mess about it and uh, with it until you get something you like so there that's that's pretty good so I'm just gonna hold alt go into extrude nerbs and put it in extrude nerb if you didn't click alt then it will be like this so just drag it in just to you know, prevent any confusion confusion there. <laughs> um so once you've got that, you can turn this up to thirty. And um now you're gonna create the kind of hole in the middle. And hopefully you haven't moved this about the screen because it'll be a lot easier to center if you've just left it. <laughs> so um go and grab a cylinder, go into your coordinates and change the rotation on Y to 90 and as you can see it's through the cog make sure it's through the cog and um, move it on the Z axis make sure you don't move it on the Y or anything otherwise it won't be centered anymore and then put uh, put this on top oh, yeah and then um, select both of these hold alt go into bool oh wait just just ignore the alt part <laughs> Just get a bool and then drag these two in here. And as you can see, that is um created the hole in the cog. Looks really good now. Um and if you have the cylinder up here it won't work. So make sure it's underneath it or um we just yeah, underneath it. Also if it's inside the cog, I mean the uh, extrude, it won't work. So just be aware of that. When you're doing it. Uh, seconds. No, I've screwed up. There. <laughs> right, so, um, god damn it. You're having a good day here. Uh, right, so that's it done. And, uh, if you want to, like, uh, change the size of the hole, go into your cylinder, go into object, and turn down the radius or enlarge it if you want. A really weird cog. Um, so there. That looks about right. So once you've got that, that's basically all you need to do to create the cog. But since this has kind of been a short tutorial, I don't want to just leave you all with this simple cog. I'm going to teach you how to extrude um, a logo and put it inside of it. So I'm just going to grab a logo and just to be cliche, I'm going to get a phase logo and then put it inside of extrude nerves and then yeah, I'll turn up the depth in the other comp. Just do Control C, go into Window, go into your yeah, go into your cog comp, and then paste it, and then just drag it over, and scale up or down so it matches your cog like there. And then I'm going to change the depth to 60. And then if you if you double click on here, it will. Uh, on the uh, circle on the bull, it will make it so you can't see it when it's not rendered and that's what I want right now because I just want to work on the extrude nerves. so to be able to edit this you're gonna have to press C to make it editable go right click and then go into select children press C again and then go into connect objects and delete and then select this box over here um, so you can, as you can see, I can 
select different parts and set the sides. Um, I can set, select the top, but I'm going to try and extrude one part. But if your logo has multiple extrude nerves, obviously you can just use one of those. But for the face logo, since it's um, a complete solid, um, I'm just going to uh, use the knife tool. So if you right click, go into um, knife, and then I'm going to click here, and maybe try and center as well as I can there. As you can see, that creates a separate um, cut in the object, but it's still a hole, obviously, so you can still move it about, about and stuff. Um, so once you've done that, right-click again, go into Extrude Inner, and then just drag that in, and then right-click again, go to Extrude, and then extrude it a bit inside the object. And as you can see, it's kind of like a, you could add models in here, like um, Quezzy would add his um, pipes and stuff, like he used to on his old style, don't know if he still does. <laughs> but yeah, that's what he did on the style, I think he's got some tutorials on it as well. So um, yeah, that's basically what I did. And then now I'm just going to switch this cog back on, go to the move tool, and just scale this down. And then I can place it inside the phase logo um, and also I might want to extrude this a bit so I'm going to change this up to 60 maybe maybe not 60 <laughs> Um, I'll just go with 20 I think, there, that's nice. And just move this until it looks good in your logo. And then obviously what I, oh, I just moved, <laughs> I just moved the extrude nerves. Make, you, make sure you've got the bill selected when you're moving the uh, cog. So there. And then just do Control c Control v on the bill to create another cog. And then I'm going to go into front mode so I can see the cog more easily and also it won't go back in Z space which I don't want, I just want it to stay in X and Y so obviously you can you know, spin this around and vary it and then I'm just going to show you how to animate it, really simple just go to the start of your comp click, uh, select the bool and then go onto the Z of your rotation, control click on the keyframe which will create a keyframe down here as you can see, go to the end of your comp which is for me 3 seconds or however many frames if you've got it set to frames and then I'll change this to about 150 or you can just rotate it with the arrows, click control on the keyframe again as you can see that rotates um, through 150 degrees over 3 seconds really cool. And then all you have to do now is texture and add um, logo animation and stuff. So um, thanks for watching guys. Um, I hope you ha uh, this helped you out. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.